You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several- O'Donnell. It was one of the seminal moments of the presidential primary season. Megyn Kelly calling out Donald Trump on his way with women. Since then, the questions have dogged the presumed Republican presidential nominee. He called a breastfeeding lawyer disgusting and says Hillary Clinton is playing the woman card. Taken together, they have pushed Trump's negative numbers among women voters to as high as 70 percent in some polls. GOP matriarch Barbara Bush summed up the Trump gender gap recently. I don't understand why people are for him for that reason. I'm a woman. I'm not crazy about what he says about women. One of Trump's key advisors is New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. But support for Trump among state Republicans has been soft when compared to support of Mitt Romney four years ago. Among GOP women, that support has been even softer. We asked some of the state's Republican female elected officials whether they would be supporting Trump in the fall. I'm hoping to be able to. Um, Have I had some apprehensions throughout this campaign? Yes. And I think most women who are Republicans have as well. I'm cautiously optimistic that in light of some of the shakeups in his campaign uh, that we're going to start to hear more concise, well thought out reason policy as opposed to just sound bites in order to get headlines. Assemblywoman Holly Shapizi was among a small group of GOP women who would even discuss the subject, much less talk on camera. Under Christie's leadership, the state party has mostly let him call the tune. And even in his waning days in office, the governor has kept a pretty tight grip. One lawmaker says she hadn't been pressured to back Trump, but was advised to keep any objections to herself. Assemblywoman Maria Rodriguez Gregg has no misgivings about where she's coming from. It is very difficult. I I want to support someone uh, that's a Republican for presidency, but it has to be someone that represents uh, the the Republican Party's initial values and principles, and right now he doesn't. Senator Jen Beck has shown an independent streak, having called on Christie to step down in the heat of the primary season and voted to override a Christie veto. She likewise bucks Christie on Trump. I don't care what party you are, your first job is to do the best for the people you represent, she said recently. I feel I would be doing a disservice to those I represent by getting behind Donald Trump. Senate Majority Leader Loretta Weinberg is no Christie fan, or Trump fan for that matter. She's one of the most liberal lawmakers in the state and a feminist icon to many. She told us she feels for her fellow female pals. There is no doubt that they're going to have to really twist themselves into the proverbial pretzel to figure out how to be able to support Donald Trump. Lieutenant Governor Kim Guadano is said to have her reservations about Trump, but even more reservations about Clinton. Officially, though, she, like most of the state's female GOP leaders when asked about Trump, had no comment, which you will have to interpret for yourself. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz. 